Greetings, beautiful and or handsome viewers. Matt Bauer here with another action-packed How My Computer Works video. One of the most common computer problems is a real simple one. The computer just won't turn on. Or the computer turns on but shuts itself off suddenly. Now I'll get to that one in just a minute, but in both cases, you could spend a lot of time racking your brain trying to figure out why your computer doesn't want to play with you anymore. It could be that new fragrance you're wearing or that you haven't showered yet today, but I'll give you some steps to make sure all systems are go. If the computer will not turn on, here's what to do. And although these steps will seem pretty basic, sometimes it's the littlest things that slip past us. Anyway, make sure the following is true in this order. Number one, the wall socket is receiving electricity. In other words, was there recently a loss of electricity or fuse slash breaker issue which would require resetting it? Number two, the power strip or the computer itself is plugged into that working wall socket and the power strip is turned on. Number three, the other end of the computer's power cord is firmly attached to the computer itself. There may also be a switch on the back of the computer, so make sure it's in the on position. Number four, the computer is turned on. And number five, the monitor is turned on. If all these things are true and your computer is still not turning on, you may either have a power supply issue or a problem with the computer's motherboard. In either case, you'll probably need to call an on-site technician or take it into a computer repair shop. If your computer does turn on but suddenly turns off, there may be a heat issue inside the computer, most likely due to dust accumulation around the processor, RAM, and or various fans throughout the system. If you're comfortable opening up the computer, make sure it's unplugged first, that's obviously very important, and then carefully use compressed air to clear the dust away from these components. If you have a laptop computer, there may be dust accumulation in the heat vents toward the rear or side of the computer, so you may want to use compressed air to clear those out. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about this particular video, or if you have any comments or training suggestions, just send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the more info section just below this video. And if you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, just call us at the number you see below or visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.